Hello folks. Well, if you can hear your timer and trim beeps over the wind, airplane noise, and crowds, then there's no need to watch this production. But maybe if you know someone who can't hear well, but is an RCer, maybe you could forward this to them instead. Well, one of my subscribers asked me how to increase the volume of his transmitter timer, and I told him I'd look into it. The DX6i and many other transmitters have built-in beepers that signal warnings and timers. Well, I've not been able to hear well for the last week as I've developed an ear infection, so now this has become important to me too. So I looked inside mine and without extensive testing, I could not find an easy way to increase the volume. A hole in the grill would help, but that would allow dirt, moisture, and water to get in, so that was out. I simply located the beeper terminals as shown and soldered on my wires. There's no polarity, so just solder them to your earphone jack in any order. You can mount the jacket just about anywhere you want, and from there you'll be able to use the many options like earphones or buds, small lamps or speakers, and even a bigger one at your feet as I'll show you. Egg timers will work and many other ways to time your flight, but if you like the built-in timer and it's not loud enough, this may be for you, and here's how I did it. Okay, here you can see I've got it plugged in here. This is just a crystal earphone. I can put it up here on the camera somewhere where these holes are and turn this on. See, hopefully you'll hear this. Okay, we'll put an amplifier on it and I'll show you how loud you can really make it. I got this amplifier at Radio Shack. It runs on batteries. I installed a light here on the side so when I turn it on and off, I can tell when it's on. And uh, you just plug it with the wire, you can set it on the ground next to you, you can tie it to your belt. It's a little big, but if you really are having trouble hearing like I am right now, this really helps. How's this? Turn it up a little bit. So that's one way. And here's a real small one that you can actually put in your pocket. I got this at Radio Shack too. And uh, what you do is, I put a LED in it. I love LEDs for power on indicators. I like to know when things are on. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. Now, this is a portable one. Let's see what happens. See that? And I can turn it up loud. Or you use your standard earbud. Well, like I said, there's many ways to cut a pizza, and there's probably quite a few different ways to do this. You could mount the little speakers inside a little box and mount on the back of your transmitter, or if you've got a, a uh, an amplified speaker system like this, you could mount that on there. This is the way I have mine finally hooked up now. Turn it on by flipping this switch. There's how you can hear it now. You could also convert one of these little amplifiers and put it inside or even make a smaller amplifier uh, and put it right inside the transmitter. And of course, I'm sure that pretty soon there will be the wireless hookup like this. So you can have your Bluetooth enabled. And of course, when you turn on your countdown timer, You'll be able to hear it when it goes off. We had timers in the old days that uh, were a clock. You would just turn it and set it to the time and it would vibrate. You could feel it in the transmitter. Can't get them anymore. Tattone made them. Another mod is that I made to my Spectrum is I took out this half-rate rudder switch. I never use half-rate rudder. I would never use half-rate rudder. And it's in the way of this switch that's just the throttle hold. I fly the MOS method. So my throttle hold right now is when I throw the hold, it holds the motor speed at uh, about 95%. And that way I don't have to mess around with the gear mode over here, which is hard to reach when I'm flying like this uh, precise rudder. So what you want to do is not use that. 
it's easier to reach over here with this and just throw the switch like this while you're flying and you never have to take your hand off. And uh, since I'm flying zero pitch at this place, I don't have to worry about any throttle cold, the straight uh, throttle curve and everything works perfect. And uh, zero pitch here, so when I'm in uh, throttle hold, that holds the throttle and I can go up and down with plus and minus negative pitch exact amount each way. And that's the switch I use and so I took the other one out so I had some room here to do that while I'm flying. I don't have to really take my hand or finger off of my rudder switch which causes me to twitch. Which causes my tail rudder to twitch also. Hey, and you know those cheap hearing aids would work too.